things you always do is you put up the American flag and get to fly. Actually getting everything unloaded. And that way there I've got a lot more room in a 2004 Pontiac Montana to move around. Looks like it's turned out to be a beautiful day up here in the UP, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Hello. Good. Love the weather. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, the North Country Trail. The North Country Trail runs right through here. Oh, it's a long trail. Most people take it from Grand Marais, maybe, maybe even farther east than that, and they'll take it down through here. It cuts right down to this road right here, goes along Picture Rocks, Lakeshore, and beyond that. So you get a lot of through hikers that are going to come right through here. It's pretty cool to see. Always like to say, hey, hikers, what's going on? Time to get to doing a little staking. If you've got a Rural King, America's Farm and Home Store close to you, or some kind of tractor supply store like that, they sell these bags right here, these black bags, and they are wonderful for putting your gear in. Okay, I got phase one of setting up camp done. And that's the try on him. That'll keep moisture and dew and things like that off the picnic table and anything I have sitting on there. And obviously if a rain comes up, it'll help with that too. Pretty nice setup. Alps mountaineering. Turned out to be pretty difficult to set up in the wind like this. You can see it's still pretty windy. Not bad. It's definitely dying down. So I've set up enough tents and stuff in the in the wind to know how to kind of set it up. I got it anchored off. I got it kind of breaking the wind here. But I got a feeling as the wind shifts, I'll probably have to adjust it just a little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of digging the fact I got up here a few days early. Because you forget that it takes almost a day to get everything set up. Hey folks, how are you? Good, how are you? Great weather to hike. Oh yeah. Beautiful. All right, that's some through hikers going through. A lot of hikers. I didn't realize there's a lot more hikers now in mid-October than there is like in late September. I thought that's pretty cool. It takes a day to set up usually from start to finish. And especially when you're dealing with the wind, you got to get everything tied off. Especially when you're camping on the south shore of Lake Superior. It definitely takes... A lot of rigging, a lot of to make sure that that wind is not going to tear your stuff up and throw it over there in the woods across the street. But with the wind here on Superior, the wind is constant, which is kind of good. It's not like really gusty all the time. The problem I'm having is it shifts. It may be coming from the north and then it'll shift to the northwest and then back to the north and a little bit to the northeast. It's not giant shifts, it's just gradual shifts. So when you set something like that up, you're always trying to adjust it and try to figure it out. I think I'm getting there, but it's taken a lot of rope to get it secure. But you can see here, I've got me a pretty good lunch laid out right here. And when I get done, I'm going to go back out. I think I've got the, I've got the try awning working pretty good now. So it's about time to start setting up the gazelle. And that'll be interesting. As soon as I set the gazelle up, I'll have to tie it down because it will definitely want to fly away. If you don't have a lot of experience setting up in wind, if you come to Lake Superior in October for sure, you'll notice that it's almost always going to be windy. Or you may have some calm days, but when it comes in, it comes in hard and strong and you got to be ready. Got me a few little Halloween decorations going on for the hikers going by. And I hope it don't scare them, but I actually got me some big old spiders up there too. Mmm, that's kind of scary. Maybe I won't freak them out too much. If they're hikers, they're not scared of spiders, I wouldn't think. Boy, ain't that a pretty sight. Camping in the USA. If you don't do it, I highly suggest it. 
There are so many beautiful campgrounds in this country, from east coast to west coast, northern border to the southern border. Just absolutely gorgeous. Proud to be an American. Proud to live in the great USA. You know, one thing you always got to remember, have fun when you go out in the outdoors. You go out camping, backpacking, hiking, canoeing, whatever you're going to do, kayaking. Always have fun. Some people kind of get a little serious about it, try to put in too many miles, try to go really far, try to go really fast. You know, just remember to have fun. That's what we're out here for. Now, I'll show you how I try to have a little bit of fun. Mr. Boo and that cat. So anyway, <laughs> that's some people just go by looking at me kind of funny, but hey, what the heck. Yep, I got to come up with a name for the little kitty cat here. Mr. Boo, though, he's going to be all right. So anyways, have fun out there, right? That's what it's all about. Okay, I've played around long enough now. I gotta get out here and I gotta get my gazelle put up. Whew. That's gonna be a challenge in this wind. I guarantee you it's gonna be a challenge. But what the heck? You gotta do it, right? This is one of those days where that wind never stops. Never, never lets up. It just keeps blowing and blowing and blowing. This is going to be a real challenge right here to set up the gazelle with this kind of wind. Looks like to me like it's the kind of tent that if you don't tie it down good, it is going to fly away on you. I'm hoping that I can put some stakes in and that's going to hold it before I can get the guidelines out and they'll put those up and really secure it good. So let's see what happens with the gazelle. I'm ready to go. going to. Not bad. I'm going to go ahead and put the rain fly on, pop the top up. rough putting that rain fly on in the strong winds. There may be a different way to do that, I don't know. You'd have to watch it, especially if you're with somebody else, because I noticed the poles, when it was flapping around, the poles for the rain fly were kind of like spinning around and flying around. I can see you smacking you in the eyeball. Of course, I've got my safety glasses on. I'm not going to rest. I'm going to go ahead and make sure now I use my guidelines and make sure I get it stationary. Really strong with this wind. Being on Lake Superior, you never know. It could come up 20 more miles an hour just in a snap hole. I love that gazelle. Woo! T4. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to guy her down. Okay, got the gazelle all set up. Looking good. I tell you what, that's a nice tent. 
you're ever out to look for a tent, you're in the market to buy a good tent, that one right there, you can set it up in about two minutes. Maybe in the wind, five minutes. Super strong, no shake to it. That's the guideline down. Pretty nice tent. Highly recommend it. Ten days on Lake Superior. Let's see if the gazelle can handle it. Camp LAF is set up and ready for Lake Superior. Ten day excursion. Camping out on the south shore of Lake Superior. This is the latest I've ever been. It's already October 17th. Usually I've been gone for two weeks already. But this year I came up late. Let's see what the weather's going to bring. Let's see what the conditions are. I know the leaves were late in turning this year and they're just absolutely beautiful right now. Gorgeous. Montana did really good coming up here. No problem. Drives like a lazy boy going down the highway. Winona Solo Plus Canoe is ready to go. Going to plan on hitting a few lakes. Little Beaver Lake, Big Beaver Lake, Kingston Lake, and a couple others while I'm up here. Late October 2021. So far everything is going really well. Beautiful. Lake Superior. Kitsé Gume is what they say. It always feels good to get camp all set up and ready to go. So now it's relaxation. Clouds are screeching along pretty good up there. Not sure how fast that wind is blowing, but it's cooking pretty good. All right. Woo! It's chilly today. It's only in the 50s with some pretty high winds but it's perfect for Lake Superior. This is exactly what you're looking for when you come camping in October on Lake Superior. Let's see what else adventure we can get into. Hey, what, the little flag? Never stop flying today. Straight out all day long. Winds never stop here sometimes. They just keep on blowing. Yeah, I've been watching this sunset from this exact spot for a long, long time. I think it's the best spot myself.